Bama Jamma, back at you again with another one. I'm at this restaurant. Pretty nice restaurant. Getting me a little something, something to eat. With my significant other. Let me get a roll tie. And you know what I'm really thinking about today? Thinking about this video I saw on the internet. A.K.A. YouTube. Well, this female from the country of Wayne Skits, matter of fact, it was two of them now, was being treated at this nice restaurant for her birthday. She was the birthday girl. Shouldn't be anything mind-blowing about that. But it's what happened when... The paying for it, a.k.a. the bill, was on the way portion of it that went totally left. This female woman that was being treated for her birthday tells the man, the only man at the table, that he should pay for everyone's meal. <laughs> Yeah. Let me set it up for you a little bit. Give you some context that makes it rather ridiculous. The man involved is also a married man. And his wife, as well as his daughter and her child, are present as well. can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up now. Whew! And what makes this situation aka EAH so damn egregious is that these three other grown ass females tell the man Another woman's husband. That he needs to pay the entire bill. Because. Get this now. He's the only man at the table. <laughs> Let me get a roll tie. Somebody. I mean anybody. Tell me. When did that become a damn law? A damn law. First off, in today's climate, with all the damn extra lip and bass in the voices, <laughs> told a black man, I know damn well you got your own. Oh, just in case you're wondering. What E A H means, Bama Jamma gonna tell you what it means. It stands for entitled ass heifers. Let me say that again. Entitled ass heifers. <laughs> Let me get a roll tie. How the hell? Matter of fact, who the hell raised y'all entitled and in some cases a lot ungrateful asses? Did your mamas tell you or raise you to think like that? Did your daddies tell you of raise you to think like that? Bama Jamma gonna go out on a limb and say they didn't. If your mama been married for 20 plus years or more, ain't no damn way she taught you like that. 
if your daddy been a family man and been with his wife or significant other for 20 plus years, he for damn sure ain't taught you that. These women, entitled ass women, are the same women that'll tell you, I don't need a man. We are equals. I am in a partnership with my man. And then contradict hell out of itself by saying or implying that you should be a gentleman and pay for their meals, etc. Problem with that is, if you expect for a gentleman to pay for your meals, etc., etc., then before that issue presents itself, you must have presented yourself to be a real lady beforehand. A real lady wouldn't have to ask a gentleman to pay for a meal, etc., etc. He just do it. If a real man's not just doing it for you, then you better reevaluate yourself, ladies. Now, change that. Not ladies. You better reevaluate yourself, women, females. Take a good inventory of how you act, move, and respond to men. Real men, not the lames of the suckers. Let me get a road tie. And did I mention the bill was $700? $700. Yes, ladies. Seven hundred dollars by a lot of damn groceries. Hmm. Sounded to me like somebody should have been at home cooking. Probably could have had an extra four hundred dollars in your pocket. But anyhow, anyway, y'all help us out y'all rabbit ass mind. If you think a real man's I'm going to let y'all think about that. I'm going to let y'all think about it for a minute now. <laughs> think a real man. Just go up and do that because you a female or a woman. As I keep telling y'all, hard-headed ass heifers, a lady don't encounter problems like that. Hell, your husband. Yeah, that heifer. Your hub was married, married and expecting another married man to pay for her meal. You can't make this stuff up. Who the hell raising y'all women, females today? To answer my own question, it's these damn reality TV shows. Plastered all over the airwaves. Them basketball wives. You see what old Sean O'Neill been doing with that rapper fella. Paying $50,000 for the D. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm ain't mad at you. Get it. Get it. Get in where you fit in. Let me get a road tie. Them real housewives. Loving hip hop. All that mess been raising y'all. Those shows have given y'all a false sense of entitlement. Think about it. All those females ever do. Is be in unhealthy relationships. Bravo and VH1 have done an outstanding job confusing y'all women, females today. 
But one of these days, you'll see the error of your ways. At that point, it might be too late for you. It might be too damn late. <laughs> when your breast starts sagging and your ass starts dragging, don't suddenly want to submit to a man. Then, only thing that's going to happen for you in that situation, you're going to be finding a retread. A fella that wasn't somebody's first, second, or third choice. Let me get a roll tie. When Bama Jim is around real ladies that are respectful and honor him as a man, they get all the perks that come along with this paper. Dinners, gifts, shopping sprays, all that. But don't get it twisted. Them pots and pans need to be rattling on a regular basis. That ass got to be tooted up on a regular basis. And lastly, that house got to stay immaculate every day. And don't let me forget this key ingredient. Keep your mouth in check. No man wants a, wants a woman or wants to deal with a woman that's always trying to challenge his authority. If with it, if find that. On guard, no cap. Let me get a roll tie. Don't let Portia Williams, NeNe Leaks, or Dr. Heavenly be y'all motivation in how you treat or deal with your man. It ain't genuine and it ain't gonna work. But anyway, in high, Bama Jamma wrote the song. You wanna hear it? Here it go. Dun, 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 dun. You walked in to my life and blew me away. What is this magic? I can see a brighter day. Yes, I can. Before there were hoes, uh -uh. I done married a real lady. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Respectful and fine. Not damaged in any way. You know what? I want to thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, adore you. And praise you, a true lady. Put my credit cards on a silver tray when they bring out the bill. Ain't got time to think of nothing else. No, no, no. When I look in your eyes, baby. Mm -mm. The respect you give is divine. Being a real man to you is my desire. Yeah, woo woo baby, I pay the bills and give good gifts, I'm buying bins, I'm buying cars, I done bought you a Rover, 
Cause you do the chores and rattle them pots. Uh, you rattle, you rattle, you rattle them pots. Things that you do I make me want to love you. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let it die. Dan on bed. We out of here. Let me get a pig.